Congratulations, uh, Gabby. Such a tale of two extremely different sets. I mean, 28 minutes for the first one. You guys had at least two 10-minute games in that second set, ending in a tie break. What was the key from your perspective? Uh, the key. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to say it again. The key is the same as it was last time, that we stuck together no matter what was happening on the court. Obviously, playing the French Open champions is extremely challenging because they've been in this kind of position before, and we haven't together. So, you know, I think uh, that's a pretty good feat in itself that we were be able to overcome that. Um, I think tactically we played pretty smart, too, and that helped us a lot, <clears throat> especially in the first set, to get that quick head start. Um, we were pretty sharp at the net, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know if Aaron wants to add anything. <laughs> Aaron, you're on. You might want to come a little closer here. <laughs> first of all, yesterday marked your first Grand Slam semi. It's leading into today. Today marks your first Grand Slam final. Congratulations. Uh, tactically, emotionally, your thoughts. This is a very open-ended question. Yes, um, my thoughts, I don't know, right now, I'm just really ecstatic to be able to play in the finals. Um, and beside Gabby, it's been really, really fun. I think we bring, I think we bring a really good side of each other out. Um, and yeah, yeah, I don't, <laughs> last time I was like in shock and now I'm in even more shock, so I don't really know what to say. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask a question about the process of this. Gabby mentioned last time that the two of you spoke after Wimbledon, and it's, you had a really meaningful conversation about values, what mattered most to the two of you. I'm curious, could you just share one insight? What was one of those things that you shared as a priority that you felt, yeah, we think this could work? Um, I think... I think the main one that I would say is always being super honest with each other, no matter what um, we're feeling. Um, it's tough with doubles because if you're feeling something, sometimes you don't want to tell your partner to make them more nervous and kind of thing, but we're kind of an open book with each other. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably the number one thing that um, we both had in common. And uh, you guys have probably seen a little bit of it on court. <laughs> But um, hopefully you see some more good stuff on Sunday. <laughs> that feels like just generally brilliant relationship advice for all of us. Gabby, the last thing for you, what this moment means. I mean, your second Grand Slam doubles Grand Slam final. But more than that, a few years ago on this very court, getting to this very stage, and it ended with Louisa obviously not doing well. This has to feel redeeming, has to feel a little extra sweet for you. Yeah, I mean, it feels great, and it's pretty wonderful that she's able to compete again and she's going to be on this court in uh, less than 15 minutes. So, <laughs> yeah, it's really special. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Aaron Routliff, Gabriela Dabrowski moving into the finals.